Welcome to the Do What You Love podcast, a podcast with a mixture of personal development and career advice to help you reach your full potential. Now over to your host, Life Purpose Champion, Amanda Heal. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Do What You Love podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Heal. Today I'd like to talk to you about fear of changing. I think the reason why many of us stay in jobs that are no longer good for us is because we're afraid of change. And that was certainly my case. I had been a lawyer for 17 years and the last seven of those was as a legislative drafter. And before I was made redundant, I was sort of thinking, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe I want to do something else. But I was afraid. I thought, gosh, I've spent all these years specializing in drafting legislation and I haven't used any of my other legal skills and maybe I'm over-specialized and maybe I couldn't do another type of legal job. But then when I was made redundant, that went up a level and I thought, gosh, well, maybe this is a chance to change careers altogether. And that absolutely terrified me. So I want to tell you three things that I did which helped me through that change. So number one, knowing that change is okay. I don't know about you, but I always thought that when you go to uni and you train to do something, you know, I spent seven years getting a combined commerce law degree, that would be it. That would be what I would do for the rest of my life. I would be a lawyer. Also to compound that, my parents were public servants in the early 70s and they used to say to me, stay in the public service. You know, once you get into government, it's a job for life. Ha ha. Little did they know how unstable things would become. And same in the, in the private sector. I guess it's, things are so much more unstable than they used to be. And I think it's also more normal for people to change careers more often than they used to. In fact, I once heard someone say if someone was in a job for more than two years, they were stale and it was time to move on which I think is a little bit extreme. Anyway, I heard someone yesterday describe career rather than being a single mountain that you climb and you get to the top and that's where you stay. It's almost like a mountain range. You climb one mountain, then you go down, then you climb another one, then you climb another one. So know that career change is okay. And that took a lot of work on my part to get to that point. Number two, Know yourself really well. I think the reason why I was initially so afraid to move out of legislative drafting and, and then more so to move out of law was that I didn't really realise what I had, what skills I had, what strengths I had. So I used a, a really good tool called Career Storm Navigator, which is a really good tool for taking an inventory of work-related skills, work-related strengths, values, the type of environment you work best in, and your goals. And you come out with a really good picture of who you are and what you have to offer and what transferable skills you actually really do have. I realised that over my years as, as a lawyer, I had learnt to problem solve, I had learnt to research, I had learnt to write, I'd also learnt how to relate with people. So these were all transferable skills that I'd just taken for granted. I'd learnt that one of the, the top, top values of mine is to feel appreciated at work. So getting to know my values was, was very important and, and my strengths, the gifts that I had, the things that I was particularly good at. Get to know yourself really well. Use tools like Career Storm Navigator or Clifton Strengths Finder or just do it on your own. Number three, and I think this is the most crucial one, discover your purpose. I passionately believe that we're all created for a purpose and that's that thing that we were created to do. And if we discover that purpose and live it out, we can take courageous steps to reach our full potential and, you know, really do what that thing that we've been created to do and purpose can be a a broad thing for example uh, one of my clients has discovered that her purpose is to care and protect and that could be 
exercised in many different ways, in security, in policing, in even uh, the medical profession, that could be exercised in, in many different places or lived out in many different ways. But once you discover your purpose, you discover the thing you're created to do, and then you can kind of narrow down the sorts of career choices that you can make. Unfortunately, I didn't discover my purpose until long after I had left the law, but that's another story. So just to summarise, the three things I suggest if you're thinking about changing your job or changing your career and it, it scares the pants off you, <laughs> change is okay. In fact, it's normal these days. Secondly, get to know yourself really well. And thirdly, discover your purpose. And I promise you, you'll be just fine. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Do What You Love podcast. Until next time, have a great day and do what you love. You've been listening to the Do What You Love podcast with Amanda Heal. Feeling unfulfilled and frustrated and unclear what to do next? Access Amanda's Are You Living Out Your Purpose quiz and resources to get you started on your journey to doing what you love at www.purposevisionfuture.com. That's purposevisionfuture.com.